Hey guys, I pondered when I should make this video. I knew this video was coming because it's one of those videos where I can say I told you so. And it is a video about Dan Ward. He is an employee of Kenwin, Kenwin's Game Store, which is a very large game store. And when I made this video about him, and there is video on Twitch, and there's video in my video of him cheating, everyone and their grandparents came out to defend the guy, including the store owner. Now, recent developments have made me very savage. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. He was disqualified for cheating. Dan Ward has been disqualified from Pro Tour 25th anniversary. Since this is a team Pro Tour, his team was disqualified as well. During round 7, Ward's opponent activated Aethyl Vial. Ward allowed ability to resolve, which he, his opponent used to put a meddling mage in play. Ward attempted to cast Path to Exile on another creature in response to meddling mage, naming a card. When there was no window to respond, during the investigation, he is arguing something that is not true, that he should, as a professional player, know you cannot do that in response. And the judges found that he was using this to cheat. Now, does this sound familiar? Like this kind of logical loophole? I'm sure that he's done a good job defending himself and he'll go on the podcast again, slamming my channel yet again. So the interesting part is I do get a, I do get some vengeance. And you know what they say about vengeance? You dig two graves. I like my grave. So it's, it's got collectible items. Anyway, off on a tangent. This guy has been around magic for a long time. And I, I know as you get older, you get more desperate. But the cheats are not... The cheaters are very friendly. Alex Pacini is probably the most friendly person you've ever met, according to comments. But that doesn't justify cheating. Cheating is stealing. Just because someone is friendly does not mean they should steal from your grocery store. It does not mean they should steal magic cards just because they have a good smile. If that was the currency, just being friendly, then I guess people would be more friendly. But I can now, it's kind of like Pico Trade. When Pico Trade went on the slide, I could finally feast. I made a video very early on on Pico Trade, the monthly magic box, etc. When Tolarian Community College and Weds and everyone was supporting Pico Trade like there was no tomorrow. This was the same thing. I knew this guy would eventually be disqualified. It's not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. And the when came sooner than I expected. So imagine he's a store employee. He's playing at a high level event in his store and he cheats on camera, on Twitch, live stream. Are you telling me this guy has the balls to do that, but he doesn't have the ball to cheat at a pro tour? No, absolutely not. It's a repeat habit. It's a habit. Alex Pacini knows he's on camera. He just cannot help himself. He just cannot help himself. And the same with this guy. Same dude that was on camera put a land into play untapped from his opponent's path and used it to immediately cast a boggle. When he got called out, he picked up his opponent's path to read it, acting like he didn't know how path worked. Okay, if this guy has not that many pictures on Wizard of the Coast website, if he wasn't playing modern and it was like some uh, weaker version of path that was in standard, maybe, maybe. And that was, that was the argument that I'm going to show you the blatant argument to support cheating in our community. Like you would be shocked by the amount of people who support this guy in cheating. And that's Kenrin's Game Store. They have a podcast and they didn't mention my channel on podcast in a quite negative way. At the end of the day, like you're a cheater. Like what else do I need to say? Like they caught you on camera. You've been disqualified. Like Come on, like, what other evidence do I need? Oh, MTG Lion's not presenting enough evidence. I have video evidence. I have evidence from the Pro Tour. They even disqualified your whole team. That's how bad it was.
your team got disqualified. So not only did you let your uh, the store that you work at down, you let yourself down, you let your team down. And that is crazy. Um, agreed. If you throw your lot in with a known cheater, hoping to ride his cheating to do a better finish, who knows? The whole team was probably cheating. Like, this is Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering is a bunch of people cheating. And whoever is the best cheater wins. This has not changed since I was eight. When I first joined Magic, I remember Mike Long, Mark Justice, David Williams, who's he's making a resurgence in Magic, but people... He's a cheater. Like, he's been caught cheating. And these cheats have never even changed. Uh, the cheats in here are very simple. Oh, you don't understand. I don't know how it works. Only I only know how it works when it benefits me. Path to Exile, I've never seen that card before. Let me read it. So let's go to the spicy part because I am going to feast on these comments. Uh, one of these comments is the actual guy who played him. And there was a podcast around this time, almost uh, February 2017 was when the podcast and the podcast was like, oh, he's not a cheater. He's not a cheater. He's awesome. No one thinks he's a cheater. He's such a nice guy. Being a nice guy does not mean you don't cheat. Being a nice guy doesn't mean you don't steal or embezzle from your company. The nicest people are the ones who are stealing money behind your back. They're the ones that are throwing knives. So Kieran, Ball, whatever. Hey, I was his opponent. I don't think he did it with the intent, intent to cheat. He was so used to cathartic reunion and there was a lot of noise in the background because noise obviously is very effective. Very nice guy with too much only, no, on the line to cheat intentionally. Ooh. Okay, he has a lot on the line, you're right. So much that he was disqualified. Disqualified. Like, this is not me disqualifying him. It is Wizards of the Coast saying, hey, you're a cheater, and we're going to disqualify your whole team. Based on my personal experience with Dan and having played against him before, I seriously doubt he did this intentionally. Well, Wizards of the Coast doesn't care because they found intent. It seems much more likely he got confused. I was at the event this weekend. I don't know this player, but the encounter with Dan that I had with him was very positive. He's also an employee that hosted the store. This store and produces content for the store. I'm hoping this wasn't a cheat, but an accident. The guy's been cheating you for blanking seven years. And you've just been paying money to the store to give him money. All right, first of all, why is a store employee like playing at this event? Should there be like, wouldn't the judges be biased against him? Because like, oh, if we roll against... Dan, we might not have jobs because he's paying us. Dan's a great guy. I don't think he did it intentionally. And then you have Desolated saying he caught 50 people cheating. <laughs> okay. Clearly, this guy's a cheater. Um, if you want evidence, uh, evidence has been provided in this video and now in the disqualification. This is what happened when I killed the monthly magic box. I made a video in the beginning, said it was bad, Tolarian said it was great, and then it died and they scammed a bunch of people. Then I got to feast, and I still get a feast on Tolarian. This guy, oh, he addresses this on the MTG Pro Tutor podcast. I definitely recommend everyone check that out. He seems like an extremely genuine guy and doesn't at all. How easy is it to cheat a magic player? If the answer is, my gosh, these people like don't even, they're not even neutral on this topic. They saw a video of a guy cheating and they all defend him. Like, how can this be the outcome? Like, how can this be the outcome? I guarantee you there'll be comments saying, oh, well, Wizard of Coast, blah, 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 blah. He didn't cheat. His, uh, you know, the card just fell in his lap. Who knew how the uh, combo piece got in his lap? Dan is a major employee of Kinrin's Game Store, aka the store hosting tournament. Again, another issue that no one addressed. And he produces weekly content on the store's website. Again, this would bias the judges to support him because he's paying them. He's a great guy, and I very much doubt that he did that intentionally. He discusses it at length of an episode of the Weekly Ward. Is he on two podcasts? And I encourage all of you who don't know who he is 
or didn't know that he's an employee of this store to check it out and educate yourself. Educate my... My God, these people are so delusional. They just saw a video of a guy cheat. They just saw a video of a guy cheat. And their first thing was, he's a nice guy. That was their first reaction. Or the person who cheated, well, he explained on his podcast. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I just can't take it anymore. It, it's, uh, there's some stuff that like I can... Okay, I'll put it this way. The next screenshot I'm gonna show you is gonna put this very clear. There's a guy, his name is Wedge, you might know him. Even Wedge, (laughs) even Wedge knows he's cheating. Wedge, come on, a guy who doesn't have health insurance can put the pieces together. But people on YouTube watching a video of this guy cheating cannot identify he's cheating. People who know that he's been banned disqualified, his whole team's disqualified. Maybe a band's coming, maybe not. They love cheaters, right? I mean, they love cheaters. I don't. I probably would not be surprised if he was not banned. I mean, a band hasn't hit yet, I believe. Even Wedge can logically put together the pieces that this guy's a cheater and he should be banned for life. Even Wedge. Are you telling me that someone watching a video of someone else cheating and defending him and then that someone else getting caught cheating and being disqualified for cheating on the Magic the Gathering 25th anniversary Pro Tour, which is a team event. His old team is gone and disqualified. And you will still defend him to the bitter end. And that is why this guy is amazing. Because he exempl- I love feasting when I'm right. And I will feast on this for a while. Lions will be lions. Anyway, bye guys.